Hey guys, I wasn't planning on top talking on this topic because it's very sensitive and I don't have a horse in the race because I'm about as neutral as you can get because I see everything is both sides of the same coin and you can't have one without the other. And so I'm surprised I'm here and I'm surprised I hit record. But I also felt in my spirit that the world, especially America right now, then that I love needs light workers, people of hope and peace and love to radiate that light and to show the people that that is the path forward and to steer us away, turn our focus from the darkness and the anxiety of it all. So here in America, I actually filmed, I'm filming this in advance and I have something actually posted already on the 4th, but I'll probably either have to bump that to a different day or post it later in the day or whatever, I'll figure it out. But <clears throat> I feel like today in America, yes, is election day. And a lot of people are very invested in this, which is understandable. There are a lot of things hinging on this. And it is it is a freedom that we have that our ancestors have fought for to vote if you so choose or to not vote if you so choose. And I don't want my comment section to be any sort of debate or political, any political debate. That's not what this is. This isn't really politics. This is actually about unity because we are at the end of the day, the United States of America, not the divided States of America. We already had a civil war. And we realized, um, hello, we're stronger together despite our differences. I love this country. And I say that without any egotistical patriotism. This is just, I am grateful and I am thankful to be here because I realize we are afforded so many freedoms and so many luxuries. We get these wide open spaces and we get so much diversity which of course other countries have, but depending on where you are in America, and I've seen the majority of our country, aside from maybe like the, what would that be? Wyoming, Montana area, which I'm debating about maybe going here soon because I haven't seen that part. But the Pacific Northwest is different from the Northeast, which is different from the Southeast, which is different from the Midwest, which is different from California's got its own vibe, right? Even North and Southern California are totally different. Every state has its own vibe and personality and energy, and yet somehow it's so beautiful that we are united. We are one country full of immigrants from other countries. I know my grandfather came from the Bahamas. Believe it or not, I know my skin is super white, so. <laughs> um, and I don't want to offend anybody with what his senses said, but let's just say it was a word that now is maybe not the most term for somebody of the Caribbean descent. But back then that's what they put on his uh, census when he came over. I think it was the census, whatever it's called. And then my uh, Nana's, her lineage, I believe they came from France because her last name is Rupito, which is a French last name. And then on my dad's side, it's his great grandparents, I believe were from Slovakia and Poland and so Eastern Europe. And I did a 23andMe and I'll probably do another one because it's been updated uh, with different, my percentages have slightly shifted, which is really interesting. And so I'm an all American girl. Both of my parents were born and raised in America. And, but then when you go a little bit further up my family tree, that's when you get people from all over the globe that decided to come here because they believed in America and what it stood for. And I don't know about the American dream. I feel like the whole world is kind of a mess at the moment, but there's still that hope, right? And I think that's what I want today. I want us to focus on that. I want us to focus on loving each other as a country, as a world, as people, because at the end of the day, we're all humans. And all of these divisions are all man-made constructs. <laughs> Politics is man-made. So why let that divide us? Why let that get us angry and upset and anxious? I'm somebody that can tap into the collective conscious 
I can feel what everyone else is feeling. I don't watch the news, but I can feel it. And I feel your anxiety. I feel everyone's anxiety right now because people are scared something's going to happen, but I want to dispel the fear and let's focus on the love and the hope. Someone's going to win this election. I don't know who, but somebody is. And another side's going to be disappointed. It's like a football game. There's going to be a winner, a quote unquote winner and a quote unquote loser, right? But that doesn't stop you from being an amazing citizen and loving on your neighbor and doing your job well and showing up in the world with love and heart and peace and passion and making a difference in the way that you can. Because you can't control what the politicians are going to do as much as they say they're gonna do what they're gonna do for you, do they really care? So let's care for each other because that is within our sphere of influence, that's within our control, right? This, our heart and our mind. So let's not give that away, that's giving away your power. So focus on love, focus on peace, focus on hope, focus on joy, regardless of the outcome. Regardless, because that's when you step into your power. I love you, America. Heck, I love the world. <laughs> I've been to other countries, I love it there too. But today I wanna to love on my country that I am a citizen of and that I love, land that I love. I'm gonna cry. My dad was in the military. I was married to a man in the military for almost 10 years and he went through deployments. I've been a military wife, military daughter, military. <laughs> I've got uh, my uncle's a colonel in the Marines. I have a lot of pride in this country. And uh, even, if, even if nobody I knew was in the military, still just the freedoms and what this country is, is a beautiful place. What it stands for, it stands for hope. It stands for unity, bringing different cultures together in one space. And isn't that a beautiful thing? Let's keep that. I love you, America. God bless America. Love yourselves. Love each other. We're all going to be okay. See you in the next one.